Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Fear of a dental injection is a problem the dental team assume exists in all patients regardless of age. By making this assumption, measures can be taken by the operating team to avoid alarming the patient during the injection procedure. Use of a technique called the hidden syringe transfer has proven to be the effective method of delivering the anesthetic syringe to the dentist in a predictable and stable manner without alarming the patient. Some preliminary steps are taken to prepare the anesthetic syringe prior to the arrival of the patient. First, set up the syringe in the usual manner for the area of the oral cavity to be anesthetized. After the syringe is assembled, loosen the needle cap to facilitate its removal during the transfer to the dentist. Next, the syringe is placed near the preset tray and is covered with the patient napkin. This transfer technique is designed to permit a stable delivery of the syringe from the assistant to the dentist. The operating team must establish landmarks on the dentist's hand where the syringe will be placed. Once these landmarks are established, they can be used every time an anesthetic syringe is delivered to the dentist. These landmarks are established by having the dentist hold the syringe in the position that is normally used to perform the injection. Note the positions on the dentist's hand where the thumb ring and the crossbars rest. These landmarks are memorized by the assistant so that the syringe is placed in this position each time the syringe is transferred. This creates predictability in the procedure and allows the transfer of the syringe to occur while the dentist's eyes remain fixed on the injection site. Having completed the preliminary steps, let's turn to the syringe transfer itself. After the patient has been seated, the following steps are taken to execute the syringe transfer. First, the patient's head is tilted backwards slightly and the beam of the operating light is positioned just below the eyes. If the patient attempts to look down, the light will tend to obscure their vision. The injection site is then prepared by having the assistant transfer two by two gauze square to dry the mucosa. Topical anesthetic is applied using a cotton tip applicator and the patient is instructed to close with the gauze covering the injection site. After the anesthetic has taken effect, the gauze is removed and the disinfectant is applied. The dentist's left hand is used to retract the lip, cheek, or to hold the head in a desired position. Once this is accomplished, the operator's eyes should remain fixed on the injection site. The operator's right hand is positioned with the palm up directly under the patient's chin. The assistant then stabilizes the operator's hand with their left hand. The thumb ring is placed over the operator's thumb and the bar is placed over the first two fingers using the predetermined landmarks as guides. The operator's eyes are still focused on the injection site. While the assistant is still stabilizing the hand, the loosened cap is removed and the bevel of the needle positioned. When this is accomplished, the assistant will remove her hand and the signal the operator that the injection is ready to begin. It is a good idea when you have a child as a patient to have the assistant place her hands over the child's hands to prevent movement while the injection is being given. Frequently, a child patient is willing to hold the assistant's hands because it gives them reassurance. Once the injection is completed, 
the syringe is returned in a similar manner. The assistant will hold a 2x2 gauze sponge in her left hand between the thumb and the index finger while stabilizing the operator's right hand after the syringe is removed from the patient's mouth. The assistant will grasp the barrel portion of the syringe with the right hand and lift it from the operator's hand. The 2x2 gauze sponge is transferred at the same time. The syringe is returned to the preset tray and the cap is then placed over the needle. This is done out of the patient's view. The 2x2 gauze sponge is used as a compress over the injection site which eliminates the need for rinsing after the injection. Let's take a look at the entire transfer technique as the syringe is delivered to the dentist and then retrieved upon completion of the injection. Notice the smoothness and stability of the transfer. The operator's eyes can remain fixed on the injection site and no verbal communication is required which could alarm the patient. By following these simple steps in passing and retrieving the syringe, unnecessary accidents can be prevented. The hidden syringe transfer is a very effective method of transferring the anesthetic syringe between the operator and the assistant. A few minutes of practice is required, but the time spent will be very worthwhile. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.